Hi guys, this is going to have less of an animation video for two reasons. I'm currently trying to find an art style that best suits my work, and I want to go into some serious depth on how to effectively farm badges. At the time of this video, I'm trying to figure out how to effectively farm great badges, but for now I want to share the research I have so far. Expect a video on how to farm great badges in the near future. I'm so sorry, and I hope you guys understand. Enjoy the video. Everything is accessible in Heroes, of course through some extent. Orbs, stamina potions, feathers, and recently great badges can be obtained through some form of dailies or events. As I was looking through my inventory, the only thing I found myself stuck having little to nothing of are normal badges, in which I soon realized that it's something really important to have a lot of in your inventory. Badges and great badges are important to get because it's the main thing you need to upgrade your sacred seals, and you need a lot of each to upgrade them. This is going to be a two-part video basically discussing how to farm these badges as optimally as possible, so that way you can upgrade those seals or perhaps stock up and save for seals that will eventually come in the near future. This first part we're going to talk about what I believe is the most important badge to farm first, and that is the normal badges. When it comes to badges, depending on the color, we'll have a set day on when they appear. Here's the list to which day each color badge appears, so that way you can prep for your desired color. It's important to note that there's going to be a 3 day gap, and that's when you have the chance to receive an assortment of all the colored badges. And on these days, I highly discourage no badge farming. But you might say, but Alloy, why not? Instead of farming for one singular color, I can grind and get all the colors. No. No. Shut up. <laughs> I do not encourage farming on these days because the badges you receive are completely random and farming on these days is slower to compare to the method that I'm going to show you. Normal badges can be obtained through the training tower and the stratum that's best for badge farming is the fifth stratum. When farming just normal badges, the fifth stratum is perfect because anything beyond this stratum you will start getting great badges and it's not too low to the point where you're not wasting your time getting little to no badges. If you have all 99 of your stamina, you can play on the 5th stratum 17 times, and each time you complete the stratum, you can get anywhere between 15 to 25 badges. You may think this is little at first, but it adds up greatly over time. Multiply the low and high values by 17, and you can get anywhere between 255 to 425 badges in one go. All this can be done in roughly 10 minutes. Now, depending on your situation, you might just want to farm the badges casually and patiently, or you need the badges as soon as you can. And there's two techniques for both these situations. If you want to farm badges casually, you need to farm the fifth stratum two times when your stamina is full, and two times again once your stamina completely refills. This method will fetch you between 1020 to 1700 badges of one color a week, and this method requires two stamina potions a day. Now for the people that need the badges immediately, what you can do is simply grind at your leisure until you get your desired amount. If you need roughly a thousand badges, you will need to sacrifice three stamina potions to meet that goal. However, you might need more than just a thousand badges. Here is the amount of normal badges you need to completely upgrade a seal from creating it to enchanting it until completion. For the people who need the badges now, grinding all the way to 1300 badges will require four to five stamina potions instead of three. Of course, when it comes to methods like these, you gotta experiment to make sure it works. On my very first two runs, I got 285 badges and 270 badges at the beginning of the day, and towards the end of the day, I got 255 and 285 respectively. Adding this up, I received a total of 1,095 badges on that day, and at the time, I didn't really need the badges, but if I wanted to completely finish a seal, all I needed to do was use an extra stamina potion to get to that 1300 mark. And that is my method on how to effectively farm normal badges. When updates are slow, it's always good to stock up on badges for seals to upgrade or to save for seals that are coming in the near future. There's going to be additional notes as the video goes on as I edit this during post-production, but if you have any questions or if anything was a little unclear, please leave a comment below and I'll try to assist you guys. Other than that, I hope this video was helpful and something to look back against somewhere down the line in your Fire Emblem Heroes career. Have a good day, and I'll see you in the next video.